Uh, I, I like to think about the good times that we had, you know, going back to when I first came in the league in 1974 and, uh, you know, got to know Nick very well as the team leader, the guy that sort of led the defense, but uh, also led the organization. You know, he was the guy that whenever something needed to happen with Coach Shula, he was the guy that went back in the back and talked to Coach Shula and, and, and worked things out that was better for the team. So, and then later on, uh, he and I have a special bond because he, he became my agent. And uh, through the years of what he's done here in South Florida uh, in the, uh, the fight to cure paralysis with the Miami Project has uh, been phenomenal. So he's a guy that, uh, you know, he was more than just a football player and was larger than life to a lot of us. And uh, we're going to miss him. Right. Any questions? Dad, what's your, what's your fondest memory of my fondest memory of Nick was just what a smart guy he was. You know, uh, uh, you know, he would stand behind the the uh, offense on days that he wasn't practicing, and by just, by just looking at the offensive line, looking at the backs, could tell you what play we were running already. And it showed you why he was such a great player. You know, he was a very smallish linebacker, but extremely smart. And he always got to the hole before the guard or the tackle could get to him, and he could blow up a play. And and it was all because he was such a great student of the game and extremely uh, smart player. In addition to his impact on the, the Dolphins, what would you say Nick's impact on the game? I think when you think about uh, Nick's impact on the game, when you, when you look at paralysis back uh, when we came in the league in the 70s and et cetera, uh, guys would have uh, back injuries or, or, or injuries to their spine and their career was over with. They couldn't walk again, et cetera, et cetera. And because of... Uh, Nick raising the money, he and Mark, uh, and then uh, what they've been able to do down at the uh, Miami Project. Um, guys are getting up and walking again. Guys are able to play again. So I think that uh, Nick was, like I say, larger than life, man. He, it wasn't, he wasn't just a football player. You know, he was a guy that, uh, uh, that thought outside the box and made things happen. He seemed like a trailblazer as far as after his playing career. Um, in what way do you believe that he inspired NFL players in their retirement to seek other opportunities? Well, I think, you know, Nick came along at a time uh, when, as players, uh, there were no off-season workout programs. It was, you know, you had to get a job. You had to work, you know. And, and Nick was one of those guys that he took those same qualities that he had on the field, you know, perseverance, uh, dedication, uh, 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 very astute in the classroom, and moved on to become an outstanding lawyer, uh, and then eventually represented the, uh, the uh, Tobacco Association. And I mean, he just did so many things, and anybody that knew him uh, realized, you know, don't forget he did HBO, you know, uh, uh, for so many years, uh, NFL. Uh, uh, so I, I just look at a guy that lived a full life. Uh, it's sad to see him go, and, and you know, he struggled the last couple years, but uh, the suffering is over, and he'll always be remembered as, you know, the, not only the first Dolphin defensive player to go into the Hall of Fame, but one of the greatest Dolphins ever.